for a startup or a small business to survive and thrive in today's commercial environment, it has to be agile, which means that having a conventional shop can be a handicap. An enterprising pair saw the opportunity that this presented and they came up with an innovative homemade solution, which you're about to see. Cape Town's colorful Burkhub district has a rich heritage of small family businesses. And now it's an incubator for the new generation of entrepreneurs. There's something special about things that are homemade, be it confectionery or clothing. There's a sense a little more love and attention has gone into each item and the passion within the hearts and the hands of the creator really shine through. Leila and Nabila saw the potential in highlighting these individuals and giving them a platform to shine. Homemade bridges the gap between a purely online enterprise and a bricks and mortar shop by setting up pop-up outlets where emerging entrepreneurs can exhibit and sell products. Ladies, welcome to Mela. Hi, and thank you for having us, Krishma. Tell me a bit more about what you do. Our platform is basically a collaborative platform for independent designers. Based on my background, which is the clothing and textile industry, I've got a strong loyalty and support towards the clothing and textile industry. We've got a strong lineage of artisanal craftsmen and designers in Cape Town. And this is what we wanted to showcase in the same manner that I saw um, overseas with other independent designers. How did the concept develop? I'm from the events industry, so I've been working in the sector for about six years, and my focus is mainly on sustainability. And that is how my interest in greening came about, and that's how I want to support local all the time. How did you realize a need for something like this in South Africa? There's a lot happening in stores, but stores also have a strong import space. And this is where we decided we would want to only focus on local brands and also independents. So these designers, they don't have marketing platforms and they don't have showrooms. So in order to reduce the cost for them as well, we would create the platform for them to market and showcase their product. You are a hands-on creative team and love collaborating with lots of individuals. Tell me a bit more about that. It begins with the venue owner because as a pop-up business, we don't have a fixed event space. And the majority of the time, we collaborate with the event owners by showcasing their space as well. And we then do an installation and we conceptualize the content for the space once we actually know which venue we're going to be using. And then we also curate brands accordingly. Have you seen a shift from mass consumerism to a more conscious approach in South Africa? We have seen a more conscious consumer being developed towards buying more sustainable product, more locally produced product, and also trying to connect with the designers that they actually see through social media. I love pop-ups, as you can usually find a unique mix of curated items, and I believe you have something wonderful set up for us today. Yes, definitely. Come follow us. Yay. So, Grishma, this is our space. And we've actually put together a full collection, which we've curated as the Cape Town Conscious Collection. These designers put a considerable amount of effort into creating sustainable product by using natural fibers and also ensuring that they support the local community through what they do. What we've included in the collection is hand rope and hand beaded jewelry, all locally produced. And over here, we've got a hand knitted by the designer herself, bamboo yarn garment. Everything over here is literally made at home by the designers themselves. How do you go about choosing which designers to work with? Well, we're always following the designers on social media and that's how we find them. It also depends on the type of event we want to host at the time. So when it's a kids' event, we'll focus on kids' brands and when it's a women's event, we'll focus on all the women brands that use in Cape Town. What does the future of homemade look like? Well, we definitely want to focus on an online store so that we can have host pop-up online stores for our designers. And then we've been inspired seeing that we both had babies recently and we'd like to incorporate more kiddies events and focus on little homemade. The cafe offers a cozy nook for the old school alternative to social media, as well as showcasing a fascinating variety of fashion, beauty preparations, accessories and fabrics, with each item created by hand and with pride. Karishma chatted to the proprietor, Zian Rastin. 
So, Jan, I absolutely love this space. Can you tell me a bit more about it? Batavia Cafe is a lifestyle cafe. What I wanted to do for the space is for it to be a place that people that I know from other designers and creatives could come in and have their coffee and conduct their meetings and brainstorm. And when Homemade Cape Town came my way, it just was such a good fit. We do get a lot of local people and a lot of tourists. And what better for the tourists to see local branded showcasing things in a very calm and relaxing setting like you would be at home. I love supporting small local businesses. And I think it's wonderful that Homemade are providing platforms and support for such businesses to flourish. After all, every time you choose to spend money, you're casting a vote for the type of world you want.